first off, I'd like to uh, thank all our administration, uh, Nate and Mel, and just everybody. It's been a, I know it's been a real challenge on them in the last 72 hours. So, um, but one of the great things about coaching, you always get the pat on the back, and administrators usually don't get a lot of uh, notoriety, all the good stuff. They're usually taking all the complaints. So thank you guys. I really appreciate your hard work. I know this was a lot to get this done. Uh, proud of our kids. Really proud of our 21 seniors. You know the fact that um, we, the fact that you can go 20 and one, I believe it is in this league in, in a two-year period. I think says a lot about their character and their toughness. I think it says a lot about um, you know our coaching staff. Very proud of our coaches and in our entire team. Uh, the fact that we were able to accomplish uh, you know an MIAA championship. Uh, you share, I, you know, I don't really care. It's still a championship to me, and it's a championship uh, to these kids. And so just very proud of them today, tough conditions. Uh, we came out and, for the most part, handled those conditions well. And, you know, we always talk about being able to play in, in these type of environments and, and be tough guys. And, you know, I thought that started Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We, we got a, you know, good dose of cold north wind and kind of got us ready for the game. And, Thought our defense was lights out today. Uh, made some huge special teams plays down the end, you know, with the uh, pump by Goodburn inside the five, and then Brady's ability to punt the ball inside the five. I thought those were two crucial plays that um, a lot of times in a, you know, this was, a, in my opinion, kind of a playoff type game with the weather and what was on the line. Uh, some of those special teams plays are just huge. And so uh, just hats off. I thought we had a tremendous team effort today. And, uh, I thought for the most part our kids were focused today and ready to play. Questions for the players? Bill, what's it like to run on uh, Ronald Stout? It's fun. I mean, it's a little bit tougher. you got to make sure you keep you know, a low center of gravity and keep your balance make those cuts. But, I mean, overall it's just really fun. Eric, it seemed like quite a few times today you had them backed up in their own end zone, especially that series where um, – with the pick six, and then you on the big punt. How, how fun are those when you're getting so backed up there? Yeah, it's kind of fun because we, you know, you expect them to run and try to get some uh, yards away from the get away from the end zone, so you can kind of pin your ears back and just go. But um, you know, it's awesome when you can pin them deep, and and even if you know we don't get a turnover or anything like that, but it sets up our offense real nice. You know, usually they're on the 50 yard line and able to uh, play on a short porch, so. Um, it's definitely a field position game, and, and I think we did a good job of keeping them down in the end zone when we had them there. How big of a defensive stain was it in the second quarter when you guys were on the left side of the and had a turnover and they had the ball like on the fourth team and you guys prevented them from scoring? Absolutely. Yeah, we always talk about that. Uh, just put the ball down. It doesn't matter where they start. Um, you know, we need to make a play, and, and it was fun that we were able to do that um, and keep the momentum on our, on our side. Because if they score there, like you said, it's you know it's a it's a tied ball game, and uh, you never know what's going to happen from there. Is it as fun for you guys when the conditions are, were like that, especially in the first half? You know things are already chaotic for the offense to begin with without you guys even really step on the field. Does that make things more fun than the chaos? Yeah, uh, <laughs> I did enjoy playing in the snow today. Uh, first time I've really played in where there's actually snow on the field, and I think for a lot of guys. Um, so you know, as a new a new playing situation for us, but I think we embraced it. Like Coach said, uh, all week we were in cold weather. Um, this just added another element to it, and we just went out there and, and played the game that we know. Bill, um, you know, not getting as many carries the, the last few weeks, how nice was it to, to get out and, and have such a good game this week? I know you had a really good um, time in the playoffs last year. Yeah. What was it like to, to be playing like this? It, it felt good. You know, when when that was happening, I was trying to help my teammates out and just be there for Cameron and Bobby. You know, if I see anything on the field that they might not see being out there, just making sure that, you know, I let them know so that when they do go back go back out that they can see it and help. But, I mean, it felt good to, you know, get back out there. And I just want to give it up to my whole line. I mean, without those guys, without the whole line of receivers, I mean, we can't do what we do. And it just felt really good to get back out there. Eric, unless something completely unforeseen happens tomorrow afternoon, you guys are going to be in the playoffs again. What does it mean uh, to this group? Uh, return to the playoffs after winning the national title last year. Yeah, that's a huge feat in itself that we could, you know, uh, figure it out and make the national playoffs again because most teams, you know, struggle that next year. Uh, but it's also awesome for our 21 seniors to be able to play another game. Um, 
you know, hopefully a home game, but if it's not, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, it's just fun to get out on the field again and play with the guys and, uh, and keep my season and senior season extended. What about you, Phil? Getting back to the playoffs. It feels good. I mean, you know, we try and keep our tradition here, and we always talk about tradition here, and that's really, I think, what keeps us going all the time. Anything else for the players? Just how, one last question. How tough of a climb has it been this year to return to the playoffs, knowing that everybody, the target's on your back and you're getting everybody's best shot this year? Yeah, uh, when we expect that, but um, it does make it a little more difficult. But uh, we embrace the challenge, and it doesn't change the way we prepare. It does, uh, every week, we know you know the other team's going to bring it, and and um, whether it's offense or defense, we prepare well and, and make sure we go out there and, and you know put our best game together that we can. And I think we've done that. We've kept improving every week, and um, you know now it's playoffs and it's a whole new game. Thanks, guys. Good job, guys. Thank you. All right, questions for Coach Doral. Uh, what did you like from Phil today? He got a few more carries in the previous weeks. Yeah, we, he had a good week of practice, and then we, were, we made some mistakes early in the game um, with some protection issues. and. It cost us a fumble, and I just at that at that point in time, I felt maybe it was better to go with the veteran kid that's kind of been in this climate before. I think if you remember well, Phil played really well in the playoffs last year, and so uh, it's good to have that I guess ace in your sleeve and that kid in your back pocket. And it's kind of a game decision there, in game decision. How big of a factor were the, the the snow conditions in the first half, especially? Well, I I think it. The thing that I saw was throwing off the timing in the passing game, obviously, and um, we don't do a ton of quick game. We throw a lot of intermediate routes, but even on the intermediate routes, guys getting out of their breaks, it was uh, it was affecting that definitely. A lot of short passes early, but then uh, kind of went deep to Quanji for the touchdown. Was that something where you kind of felt like they were starting to sneak up a little bit? Or? Yeah, they were. They were playing. You know, we knew they were going to play. They played with eight guys in the box predominantly in most formations. And uh, we felt like we had them dialed in on a couple formations that we were going to be able to hopefully run by them and, um, you know, missed, missed maybe a couple other opportunities to do that. But I certainly thought that was a huge play. I think it was Quanzi's, you know, first collegiate touchdown and then, you know, come back down and get the reverse. Uh, we were very happy for him. Does it make you think twice at all, though, calling a play like that? And with no, what – it doesn't. Um, the only thing that makes you, you, you uh, second guess yourself as a play caller is when you, you're turning the football over. And, you know, I tell you that just like I tell it to the guys turning the ball over. It's, you know, if we want to continue to be aggressive offense and do the things that we want to do, we have to do a better job of taking care of the football uh, than we did today. But, no, you try to just get back on that horse and stay confident, you know, in your kids. And uh, But the same token, you got to. They got to understand the gravity of turning the football over this time of year when you have a defense as good as we have. How proud are you of this group uh, to return to the playoffs after coming off a uh, perfect championship season? I'm I'm very proud of them, David. I don't know where the try to wrong, but I I just I feel like a weight's been lifted off my chest. I really do. Um, I've always looked at it. If you're one of the final 24 teams in the country, go for it. You know we're. That's going to be my approach moving forward. I don't care if we're a six seed or one seed. You're in the national playoffs, and everybody's good, and the season resets itself, and you got to play to win. But it's uh, I think it's a huge uh, relief off our kids, and I started sensing that towards the end that it was the pressure was building a little bit, and um, we've tried to manage that the best we can. But I'm, you know, it feels good to be sitting here in front of you right now. Uh, Feels great. Uh, I'm sure it was a goal for you guys to shut down the run today like it always is. Uh, Deshaun Moore, 11 yards, took away the Wildcat. Really, you weren't able to do anything with that package. Uh, how big was it to take him away on a day where, like you said, it was tough to pass? You know? Yeah, our, our guys were – he was he was talking in a real positive way. He had a goal to get 127 yards today, which, you know, he wanted to set the school record. And, you know, of course, our kids read that stuff. And, it, you know, the, he wasn't being negative or anything, but – 
our goal is like, well, wait a minute, we never want a guy to rush for over 100 yards. So, you know, you know, defensive guys, it's easy to get them stirred up, and they were certainly stirred up early today. Yeah, it feels great. I mean, you know, I, I've always tried to put things in perspective. I, I, you know, I've been around college football enough. Um, this is a very tough league, and I'm not going to sit here and you know, argue it's the toughest. Or, but I, I got to think that the experts out there would tell you it's got to be one of the toughest leagues. And to be able to sit here and, like I said, to be 20 and one in two years, I'm, I'm proud of our kids and coaches. And you know, the thing that I'm proud of, to me, I don't, I don't want to use the word last year was easy. It wasn't easy. It was nothing easy about going 15 and 0, but it's been a lot more challenging this year. Just you know, dealing with different aspects of a, of a football program. Um, it's it's just been a lot more challenging this year. So I'm I'm proud of our kids for staying focused and rising to the occasion. Two touchdown lead at halftime today, um, but they really weren't moving the ball that well. Not to say it was comfortable, but does a two touchdown lead with this defense feel? Does it feel? more comfortable can't think of a better it, you know it, it does it it um you know i thought was to me i thought the best drive we had all day offensively was the third quarter when we drove down the field and got the field goal because then you go up three scores and then you know we were feeling really good the things we were talking about hey let's take care of the football and let's not turn this thing over and i don't want to use the word comfortable but we feel confident when we get that type of lead Yeah, it has. You know, Quanzi would tell you things haven't always been easy here for him. Um, you know, he had a great game versus Central Missouri next couple of weeks, um, just a little bit inconsistent. And then, but he never, you know, hung his head. He, he kept coming back to practice. And the last two weeks, he had been getting better and better. We we thought maybe he could run by their safety today, and he certainly did. A um, little bit of trouble on that. Yeah, we are, and it's, you know, the, the challenging thing is Bryce makes it look so easy, and it's, uh, I don't know if you've ever tried to do that, it's it's difficult, uh, especially on a day like today, but um, we're trying some different guys, and it's just, you know, you got to find that happy median of being aggressive and fielding the football so it doesn't continue to roll and cost you first downs, because first downs this type of year are huge, and then the, the flip side of that is not being too aggressive and you know, turning it over. So we'll continue to work at it. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you.